Alright, Gail Ryan from Rye Fab. We're going to give you a short video on installing our upper door on the 900 Trail Polaris RDR. First of all, we'll just kind of go through a quick uh, parts list. You're going to have a rear panel for the upper window. You've got a plastic window that goes in there. It has this plastic coat down that you pull off. Frame to go around that. We'll demonstrate on how to put them on. This is the lower fill in part for the door which you'll have to use on ours. You can't use Polaris or anybody else's. Rubber seals, bracket for the rubber seal, clamps, hardware for the uh, lower fill-in part. So, and then you'll have your upper door frame and it'll come this way already installed for you. They open with a zipper and you can, you can uh, roll them up and snap them together. You'll need a drill with an eighth inch drill bit. And then there's a number 20 drill bit, which we will furnish. That's for pop rivets. Uh, you need a T25 Torx head. You'll need a 13 millimeter socket and 13 millimeter wrench. And then half inch and 7 sixteenths. Half inch sockets, 7 sixteenths sockets. Those are just basic pop rivet gun. Uh, You'll need a 5/32ths Allen wrench. So a set of Allen wrenches will do it. Velcro's in there. This is hardware to mount on the door for the window to mount to it. So we'll start with the back of this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the bolt and nut the hole for the door bracket. We grab our 13 millimeter socket and wrench, and you'll be discarding these and use the new ones that we will furnish. Again, you won't need those anymore. Just set them aside. So you'll take this lower panel and I would, first thing I would do is I'd just add this piece of rubber to the door right here in between. And if you need to trim it a little bit, go ahead. That'll help fill in the door Okay. This one you can add later because you've got to adjust it. We'll start with our two clamps here. And I'm going to go there. Put one down here. Keep the flat side up towards the outside so that the door flushes to it. Okay, take your lower fill-in panel, bind the door, one stainless steel bolt powder coated in, run it through the bottom hole, through that clamp, and put a washer on the outside, nut on the inside. Yeah, you can just hand, hand start that. That's just fine right there. Let's go ahead and run this bolt in the top here just to hold it. Uh, that has to come back out. Then let's take and uh, pull the seat out. It'll help in putting the hardware together. Put that aside. Now we're going to take our Torx head. This has a bag on the inside, so we're just going to remove this bag. For now. You gotta get behind this plastic panel to uh, put the hardware in the door. We'll 
just set that aside for now. And is there still one more? We don't have to take that all the way off. We'll just pull it to that point. Now we're going to take one of our inside mounting brackets. There'll be a bolt that go in this one end and a, and a rivet on the other end. Set that in there with the bolts lining up with the holes that are already existing in the door. I'm going to put two of these 5 16 by 1 inch bolts in there for now. Just trying to line them up, and I, I put it on backwards so I'll have to remove it because these are offset. Very, very simple, just hand tight for now. them down for a minute. Half inch socket. Repeat that on the back. Number 20 drill bit. From the back side, you'll drill this popper hole right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. Just drill it through. Both brackets. On the slider, I'll go ahead and run that popper from the inside of the door through the bracket, the hole you just drilled. Repeat that on the back one. That's just to help hold the bracket in there so you can remove the upper door whenever you want in the summertime if you're not using it. Now you can t leave the one bolt in opposite of the rivet and take the other one out. That's the mounting bolt. This bolt always stays in in the rivet just to hold the bracket in there. Same thing there. Now at this point you can install the plastic cover over your frame again. Right here it will be really tight on that bracket. You just got to kind of work that and pop it into that bracket and then reinstall your torx heads. Okay, we put all the torx back in that door. We're not going to put the bag back on it now. It's easier to get it all, all on and your upper door on there first and then put your bag back on. We're going to put the other part of the seal in between the doors on. This one goes on our bracket here, our fill-in plate. A little 
along, we'll just trim it off a little bit. is like that. Okay, now we'll start with this upper filling plate. Pull this bolt back out. Slide this up underneath the roof. Okay, we're gonna we're putting a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, just for a, an awl to line that up to hold that there. Now, first, next thing you want to do is put this three inch and three quarter inch clamp on the back side here. This machine, particular machine has our rear window in it. But it's just into that radius right there. Okay, now we'll take the back panel with the three inch, five sixteenth bolt, slide it under the roof, wind up with that, pull it back out. Nice. Okay, now take your 516th nut, flat washer, washer first, then the nut. This point, you can tighten that up just a little bit, but don't go crazy on it. Now you're using your half inch socket, half inch wrench. Just snug for now. I'm running the Phillips screwdriver through them holes and through that bracket just to line it up. And then just put a nut on the back and a washer. Okay, we're just going to snug this one up too. You can use the Allen wrench. I've just got one that fits on the ratchet. Don't get, don't get crazy on it. Cause you gotta line the upper door with this panel here. So now we'll set the door on there. flap out, we'll rivet that on later. Line them holes up. that down so they line up. Get to snug them up again, don't over tighten them yet. Just gonna line these up. 
with the door so it looks parallel. Then you'll mark the back hole back there on the two of them. And then you could drill that one or take the roof off and drill it at that point. We'll put this snap in here now. So this is your eighth inch drill bit. going to kind of line that up. I'm putting them right in the v, the bottom of this V just inside there. It's pretty darn close. Take your 8 inch rivet and the snap, run the rivet through it, and then through that hole, pop rivet that on there. That'll just snap right on that. At this point, let's put this back bolt in this uh, clamp. Snug that one up. We're just going to drill this first hole in this. bolt through that. Three quarter inch stainless to the power coat end. Bolt through the outside, not on the inside. Okay, we'll drill the, we've got a bolt in there to hold it, now we'll drill the back one. Okay, now we'll take this upper bracket. This will hook over the back side of this back filler plate. We're just lining this back plate on here. Bring this down. You're trying to leave a little groove there for the rubber to go up there. Then we'll just mark a hole here. Mark a couple of them just to make it line up. Then we'll take that off and we'll remove the roof to drill them out. Okay, we've already drilled these two back ones. We're going to drill just a couple of them where we've marked them on this top bracket. We'll go ahead and just put a bolt in that. You got a burr on the outside, you take a knife or something and pull it off there. And that just goes below that hem there. We're not going to drill this end one. We're going to drill the rest of them. You won't need that one and it's too close to the roll cage. I'll drill one more. Take your burr off. Put a bolt in it. and drill the rest of them and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we've, we've drilled all this and attached it while the roof is off. Now we've put the roof back on, anchored it down. We've run these bolts through. You'll need to tighten them up. And then this rubber seal that goes on this back filler, you want to force it right up in the top of that. There's a little slot there and just run it down and trim it off right here just above the hinge. You can go clear down to there. We've, we're a little bit shorter than that, but that's okay. Make sure it's up there tight. Okay, now I'm putting this top one on, turn it against the back. I 
the back can hang a little bit over. We'll trim it back just a hair there. It'll sit there just a little bit loose from that. And then we'll put the D-shaped rubber on. This goes on the cage. So the way I can start is with my teeth. You can run that right up in there. Just fall right along the edge of that cage. Get a little bit high. Okay, we've already put the Velcro strap in there, but we'll show that on their side. Now we're going to put this back window in. Peel the cover off of it. Tough for you and me. I can't see it. Just like that. Make the outer ring. We're attaching this on the outside. Gives you a little more clearance between the seat belt. Okay, we're just using this impact driver run those through there you can pilot drill them if they're a little too hard I've already drilled this one out Then make sure you put the nuts on the back of them and tighten them all up. We're just going to attach the piece of Velcro that's on the door to hold it in tight when you're traveling. You need that up there to hold it up and seal it up. So I'm just estimating where it goes, just below the cage there. About the right length. It doesn't matter if it comes in here a little ways. This piece of D-shaped rubber on the outside. Make sure the dust is dirt off of it. I'm just going above that cage bolt there. Might just trim this and back so they don't overlap. when you're inside and to hold it up sealed. We'll re we'll, we will sell the upper canvas separate and the back windows if you ever need them. You don't have to buy the whole thing again. That's your basic install.